Welcome back to the playoffs in the first round. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm doing great. And here we are trying to close out the Detroit Red Wings. It was an overtime thriller in game four, but we came out on top. And so we have a 3-1 series lead. All right, they almost tied it. Almost. But almost don't count. Let's see if we can end it here at the Bell Center. It's a home game, so we get to play two, two periods of gameplay. Let's ride. First period of sim, we have a 1 to... Oh, actually, a 3-1 lead. I thought it was 1-0. Rip. That's a really good start for an elimination game. Two-goal lead. I'll take that any day. Any single day of the week of the whole wide calendar. All right? And we'll see if we can shut her down. All we need to do is play some really good defense. If we can shut down the Red Wings, it's a wrap. Now, after a dump... It Ooh, you boy. Let's pass that back at the point. I don't care. I don't care. I'll take hits to make plays. One-timer for me. We almost had the 4-1 lead just now. That's a massive glove stop. Holy. All right. Oh, here comes Patrick Liney. He's been really dangerous. He makes a play this time. Not a shot. And that was uh, just as dangerous as a line A shot as that went across our goalie hole. Look at us. Look at us. We're going to drop this. He has a shooting lane, and he takes it and scores. It's our boy, Jesperi, and we have the 4-1 lead. All right, so in game four, we had a little bit of trouble holding on to a lead. That's what almost cost us the game. We'll see if we learned a thing or two here for game five. Oh, that's a nice play to get that in the middle of the ice. We're not going to be too, too aggressive here. With this 4-1 lead, I mean, we don't need to be, right? We just need to prevent the Red Wings from getting odd men rushes and chances in the middle of the ice. If we can do that, we're going to be grooving. Let's poke that puck away, and boom, pass it to an open man. That's a beautiful zone entry, but then we kind of bunch up together. After a good passing play, it's going to be stopped. That's poke tech by me, yes, sir. Patrick Line not doing too much with the puck. Another poke by me. There you go. We're playing defense. This is what I'm talking about. It's going to be a defensive heavy game as we get a free change here. Their defense is quite backed up, so that's pretty safe. We're going to do it. Woo! Next up, we're getting a power play. That's not good. If you're trailing three goals to the Montreal Canadiens, the last thing you want to do is give us an opportunity to make it four. But that's exactly what the Red Wings did, so we'll see if we can take advantage of it as they clear it down the ice. First thing in the morning, boom, off the boards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have the speed to get through that. That's a huge pass, and it's 5-1 Habs. Do not give the Habs a power play. We have a 5-1 lead, and it looks like, barring an absolute catastrophe, the Habs are going to run out of the first round with a five-game series. Oh, let's not speak too soon. I said it was looking like it, but Duganov is going to stop the momentum a little bit, and now it's 5-2. So it's a three-goal lead once again. It was looking good at 5-1, but now at 5-2, it's like, ah, you know what? They have life, and they don't want to go out yet. That's a poke by me. Oh, the rebound off the post. The secondary chance doesn't work, and the glove save by Jari ends the madness. We need to regain a little bit of composure here. This is looking like... This is looking like we're not... Oh, I wanted to poke check that, but I ain't trying to go to the box. I am not trying to go to the box today. All the way to the opposite side corner. We tried to trap him in there. It didn't quite work, but it's all good because we can trap him on the sideboards. Nice hit, dude. It's a really good body check. And there you go. They're trying to feed Duganov. Doesn't quite work. Let's get up the ice. Yes, sir. Boom. Off the end wall uh, to myself, apparently. It's not what I wanted to do, but, I mean, it worked out. That's a good shot. Push it ahead. Yes, sir. At the point. And that might be the start of the cycle we want. That shot goes wide into the corner. Here we go. Here we go. We're, we're getting them to run around now. Poke check. Oh, I missed again? How? I was right over it. Interesting. That's very interesting. But the Red Wings have it now. They're going to reset and actually get out of the zone quite nicely here. And that's going to be the end of our power play. All right. It's, you know what? They're not always going to score. We just want to get one power play goal a game. That's the goal, is get one power play goal a game, one period away. If we can hold them from scoring three goals in 20 minutes, which is more than possible, we're going to walk out of the first round with a W. Let's go. Drop the puck, Zebra. Let's see what we got. Winning the faceoff for the third and final frame of this one. That's a horrid turnover by our defenseman who was going up the ice on the very first shift of the third period. Boom. Dangles. We're going through the middle. Can we get him? Can we get him? We're trying to shoot it back across him. That did not work. And it was looking like a pretty nice, pretty nice opportunity, though. Back behind the net. 
We'll see if we can get out of our zone. Oh, wow. Why would you give me the lane? They could have pinched me off and they didn't. Oh, that's money. That's easy money. And that is pretty much game, boys. Mantlo just coming to play tonight. Having a wonderful game. And that's going to be pretty much GG's. I mean, if we if we fail to close this game out, I'm going to have some serious doubts about our opportunity or our ability to win the Stanley Cup here. We cannot give this game away. Back down low. Jesus, I almost got another goal. <laughs> I almost got another goal if we just held it. I didn't think my teammate was going to pass it, but if I expected it, we could have scored that. Body check in the corner. Yes, we got the puck back. Come on, Riley. Don't give it away. What are you doing? Oh, that's a good, that's a good feed. I almost got a breakaway out of it. Good job, Morgan. Line A. That's a nice feed to the middle. Bank canner scores on a decent zone entry. Line A is going to feed his boy. Who is this guy? Oh, yeah, the walk-in. He really hasn't done much to this point, but he might have scored the goal that gave the Red Wings life. I don't know, 6-3. Lots of goals once again, but that's how it's got to have. That's how it has to be. If we're playing with Tristan Jari in that, we have to have an offensive game. We have to. We're not going to win a 2-1 showdown with Tristan Jari in that. Oh, oh, Deke Roons to the outside. Back to the inside with the spin move, but it's taken away on a decent stick lift. Oh, that's a nice play started by Duganov. Here they come down the left side to the middle. Huge pad save. Right to me, to the left side. Beautiful, beautiful offense by the Habs. Can we? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Can you imagine in the playoffs? That's the first time I do to Michigan. That would be fantastic. That would be amazing. But, of course, uh, we failed because because uh, I suck at the Michigan for some reason. <laughs> it's funny. I did it within 30 minutes. Of the uh, of NHL 21 releasing, like I did it while that bitch was still installing, it was still I, I was in the practice mode still, freaking nailed it and haven't done it since. <laughs> I haven't done it in a game that actually matters. Uh, whatever, man. Whatever. We're gonna get another power play, and that's pretty much. I mean, that's GG's. There, there's no way. So it's all well and good. Oh, that's an easy go. Oh, okay. Okay, Tendi, I see you with the save. Outstretch pad. I like it. I like it. There's some athleticism on that one. We still have that three-goal lead. That would have been four-goal lead, and it would have been absolute GG's. Like, it's already not like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to get fancy here. We're going to get fancy. Yes, sir! Woo! That was gross. That's how you put the nail in the coffin, gentlemen. The opposite side... Boom, backhander between the legs. That is just nasty. I don't think I've scored it on the backhand in this series. Look at that. That is just quite gross. That is that is how you end it right there. Seven to three, and I think we got the answer that we were looking for prior to this series. I asked why are the Red Wings a lower seed? Why do they not have home ice advantage in the first round? after winning the Stanley Cup. Well, I think we have our answer. I don't know if it's the goaltending that changed or the defense that changed, but they cannot keep the pucks out of their nets as well as they could last year, and that is what's going to cost them a first-round playoff series as we get an eighth goal in the sim. We only have six seconds to kill now. Win the face-off, Jesperi. Let's get out of here. Nope, I'm going to have to poke it. This one off the post, and that's how the season is going to end for Detroit. We take home the first round. Let's go. Good performance by us. Great performance by the rest of the team. That's all I ask for. If I get a little bit of backup, we can do great things. And we just took down Yasha Duganov and the defending Stanley Cup champions. And there you go. Just by Kupanen and by our boy Duganov in the handshake line. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I like that the game actually put that in there. Because those are the two guys that you wanted to see in the handshake line and that is the first round i was honestly thinking detroit was going to put up a much better fight in game five i thought they would maybe push it to six but nope no sir out of here let's see who we're going to face in the second round it's going to be the carolina hurricanes okay who did they beat who did they beat i think they had the boring series i think they beat oh they beat the heavy hitters with John Tavares. The Buffalo Sabres won our division via overtime losses, but still, they won our division. So Carolina has to be a decent team 
to take out that kind of competition. The Rangers dispatch the New Jersey Devils, and the Penguins dispatch once again the Capitals in the first round of the playoffs. That's unfortunate for them. The St. Louis Blues, the absolute wagon that the St. Louis Blues are, move on to the second round facing Chicago. And we're going to have the Coyotes and Ducks as another second round series. That is by far the most uninteresting series in the second round. So that is how the playoff tree is looking like. Let's go to the Carolina Hurricanes and see what they're working with. See what kind of team we're going to be facing here in the second round. Sebastian Ajo is still there. Wow. Expiring soon, but still there for now. 90 overall. That's a really good player. Ooh, Mr. Pascal Roux. He is a 90 overall. He is still very young. Franchise player. Low franchise, but still franchise. I mean, sheesh. He's a playmaker. That is, that is some good stuff. He's a left winger, though, so... Not as impactful as he could be playing center, but it's all good. Let's see. Connor Garland, that's a good player. That's a pretty good player. Dalton Heinen is still an 85. That's interesting. Luke Coonan went all the way up to 88. Good stuff, man. Good for you. Uh, that's a fake he's getting, but he's up to 84 overall with top six potential, so he has to be a pretty good contributor. He has four points in six games. That's really good. Braden Shen still plays hockey in 2029. With five points in six games in the first round. That's really good. Mr. Gleason, elite defenseman, 40 th or 83 overall. Imagine 43. No, 83 overall for now. Uh, he already has four points in six games, though, so that man knows how... Yeah, he knows how to get offense done. We have Nemestikov still plays hockey at an 82 overall. Tarasenko is a 77, but he's still out here, man. Three points in six games. That's good. Hunt, I'm not sure who that is. Kelly Yarncroke is still here. Four points. What are all these low overalls doing? Getting four or five points in one round. Dowdy, former Los Angeles King, still doing it. He's making 3.6. That is quite the drop from your last contract there, Mr. Dowdy Tamara. Okay, okay. It looks like we're running out here. That's a low elite, but good job, dude. Where'd you draft him? Where'd you? Oh, second round? Actually, you got a low elite in the second round. That's not bad. Jake McCabe is still here. He's still a little underwhelming, but it's all good, and that's pretty much the end of the impact players. So it seems like they have a lot of mid to low overall players that really are performing extremely well they don't seem to be overly reliant on one player which is a little bit scary for us and this man has 10 points in six games that's really good okay what about the goaltending they have ingram at an 81 oh ooh, that right there could be their achilles heel they do not have a great goaltender. Their their goaltending is on par with ours. But this man, though, ooh, he has a high elite, high elite goalie. That's this man's gonna be a problem in the near future. So basically, it looks like wait, they have three guys. Oh, never mind, never mind. Tienen is an 83. That's a he has a 930 throughout the playoffs. Tienen might just be an issue. I thought we weren't going to have to face a real goalie, but it looks like we definitely will. But what I was about to say is it looks like Carolina is a team that is on the uprise, but just maybe two years away from being the truly elite team that they're headed towards. But still, they are a young, scrappy team, so I'm excited to face them. They should have a really, really good challenge for us and i mean they're still being led by sebastian ajo who is a great player in his own right still in 2029 so it's gonna be a really really good series man i hope you're hyped for it because i'm excited i think they're gonna force us to play a little bit better than the red wings did i don't know what happened to detroit they just they just didn't have it in the first round so we'll see if the second round is a little bit more competitive but that's gonna be the end of this Day's video man and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hook your boy up and punch the like button and a face fan hell out of a comment and subscribe i'm g20 man as up with another guys thank y'all so much for your time now i'm out of here peace